your breakfast. Great. Hey, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to spend the night in the van, but you did. I told you. I'll look after you. Have you got a stiff neck? No, not too bad. Hey, I've slept in worse places than this. Like where? Like in a barn. I've slept with pigs in pigsty a few times in all. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll, I'll have my breakfast, I'll go home and feed the pigs and drop you at work, then I'll come back here and start work on your dad's farm. Are you sure you don't mind? I'd do anything for you, Emily. You're so... nice. It's really great that you're back. I've missed you. Well, we've all really missed you. And I'm sorry if some of the things I did while you were away have upset you, but... well, it's kind of done now. The whole point of my going was that you don't consult me. You don't think about what I might feel. Oh, come on, Sarah. Oh, hiya. Hiya. Heard you were back. Yeah, yesterday. Have a good time? Yeah, it was great. Really, really great. Good. Do you want a cup of tea? No, thanks. I can't stop. I just wondered if you fancied popping for a drink later, around half five, six-ish. Uh, well, we'll still be in the fields. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, I'll meet you in the wool pack about six. Sure. Yeah, quite sure. We can make a night of it if you want. Sounds good to me. All right, everybody. I'm absolutely starving. Well, help yourself. There's loads left. Hello, Pete. All right, Angie. <laughs> I didn't know he was living up here with you. No. Neither did I. Neither did I. Well, do you know of any other photographer I could try? Look, I know it's short notice, but the one we book's cancelled. OK, not to worry. Thank you. Oh. What's up, love? Oh, it's a nightmare, Betty. The photographer for the wedding's pulled out at the last minute. I'm trying to get hold of another one, but they're all booked up. I've run nearly everyone in here. What am I going to do? Oh, don't panic. <sighs> I might only have one of them snap-happy jobs, but I could step into a breach for you. Well, you never know. This race, might just come to that. Well, does that mean that I'm on standby? <laughs> uh, do you want me to try that? I don't see how you can, Graham. Thanks anyway, but I've been on the phone half the morning. There's just nobody. Look, I, I might be able to come up with something. You never know. Can I expect you to go hunting around? Well, it's not as if I don't have the time. You two are rushed off your feet, whereas I'm just sitting around. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> We're friends for. OK. Thanks, Graham. Hey, up, Seth. So how are you finding it all that place? Oh, it's great. Well, I miss Betty's cooking, of course, and, uh, well, uh, you know, staying in and sharing a few uh, cans with you, like. I told you you would. Uh, I'll tell you what, you'll have to come round sometime and join us for, uh, well, a lad's night in. I will, that. I don't think I'm not happy sitting in with Betty, but women, well, you know how they can't take you on. Right, tell me about it. Uh, and I don't blame you. In any road, you're a lot closer to lad's age than you are to ours, so you enjoy yourself. And if you get a chance, drag a few lasses back. <laughs> hey, old Jack. Hey, Jerry. Oh, my last. See that butcher man here inside. Yeah. Check out the land lies with Mrs. Plod. And remember, we're to look cheery eyed and full of devastation. What for? It's supposed to be Charesra's funeral, remember? Hello, you two. Have you had a nice holiday? Holiday? I bet you a dingle funeral. It were most distressing. Oh, Zach, there's no need to palm me off. You are entitled to a break, you know. How am I on the inside, is she? Uh, in a manner of speaking. Oh, Bernice, them flowers look lovely. Oh, thanks, Lisa. I've always taken pride in the outward appearance of my home. Us well, dingles always try to make sure our farm looks beautiful from the outside. Shame Trisha doesn't share my belief. Well, aren't you going to water hers and all? Oh, never again. She can jolly well get outside here and do it herself. She don't half let this side down. Look at the state of it. An half-dead geranium and some pansies. How much you, mate? Oh, you won't have heard. He's the hero of the hour. Saved two people's lives in a death-defying car crash. Butch did? He deserves a medal for bravery. He's a true dingle, is our Butch. <laughs> Come here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Say, you've heard the good news then, eh? I certainly have, Eric. I always said that lad of mine were destined for greatness. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about Mandy going to prison. Sorry, I thought you were 
<laughs> consoling each other. I'm terribly sorry. <clears throat> I am sure I left the tap on. <laughs> I don't care, as long as it gets there. He'll sort it. As long as it gets there. You mug a history then, Frankie. What? Well, you having a night away with Zoe? Can't you shut him up? He's getting right on my nerves. But if only I had the power. It's just a business trip. Everything all right? Fine. You want to get in? Not late, am I? No, but the sooner we leave, the sooner we get there. Ooh, aye, aye. Right. Right, Chris. Zoe. See you all tomorrow. Have a nice night. Oh, I mean trip. So, yeah, you know what she said then, Bernice? She said, Betty, she said, it might just come to that. <laughs> so, if, if Graham doesn't turn up trumps, I could be the photographer at Cathy and Biff's wedding. Yeah, isn't it exciting? How many times have I told you not to do that in here? Oh, I'll have to go, Bernice, love. I'll see you later. Yeah. Why don't you do it in the bathroom like everybody else? Oh, a nice job! <laughs> hey, I better know why you're here. Really? <laughs> I'll just go and show you a selection of me at work, because I've not done a wedding before, but I've got some beautiful views of Skegness Sands. Uh, thanks, Betty, but we haven't given up just yet. All right, well, never fear. I'll be here. Actually, it was your Seth I came to see. Oh. Huh. Shape yourself. Pull yourself together. How can I help? Well, I was wondering, Seth, if you'd do me the honour of giving me away at my wedding. There's no to give me greater pleasure than to young Biff and all. Oh, we both thought you'd be the best person to ask. Cathy, you've made my day. Oh, brilliant, Seth, and you mine. Ah. Thank you. Good, you're here. Zach, uh, Lisa, when did you get back? Just oh, now. Look, I... never mind all that. We just heard that Mandy's been banged away. What's going on, Paddy? If this is anything to do with that mother of yours... No, she, she's it, Stella. Stella Jones? She's it, Stella? What for? Well... She was aiming for Eric Pollard, but she missed, and she hit Stella. Oh. Well, who that hasn't wanted to hit it. Eric Pollard? It was an accident. And she got sent down for that? Well, it wasn't just Stella that Mandy had lashed out at. She also decked Sergeant Reynolds. Oh, no! Sergeant Reynolds? She'll have provoked her. The woman has got a vendetta against us dingles. What have we done to promote such victimisation? You only stole some of their stuff, that's what. That doesn't mean they should blame Mandy. Look, to be honest, what happened to Mandy was her own fault, really. Hey, Zach! Don't do anything stupid! Marlon said you rang. Wanted to see me. I didn't expect you to find anybody, so don't worry about it. One photographer booked for the big day. You're joking! I rang the guy who does the school photos. He's really good, and he said he'd be delighted. Oh, Graham, that's fantastic. <laughs> it was no trouble. It just a bit of luck, that's all. Oh, I don't know what I'd do without you. Thank you. Biff won't believe it. It was nothing. Your friends, I'm, I'm glad I could help. So how much is he going to charge us? Oh, we, we can talk about that later. Um, there's something much more important I need to talk to you about. Oh, is everything all right? Oh, I hope it will be. I mean, I hope you don't mind. Don't mind? Me asking you. I'm sorry. I don't want to mess things up or anything, but it would make me very happy. What is it you're asking me? It, it was Rachel's. The one I was going to give her when... when... Uh... Hey, it's all right. The engagement ring, you mean? I, I'd like you to have it. Well, I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked her. I, I did wonder. 
No, no, it's okay. Um, but why? Well, I'm sure a lot of people would say it was a, a terrible thing, but I think it would make us all a lot closer. You, me, and Rachel, I mean. Because there is a link, a, a bond, a strong bond. I don't need to wear Rachel's ring for us all to be close, you know. But, but it would cement it. I, I'm sorry if I've upset you. No, no, you haven't. Um, honestly, I'm touched. Really, I am. So, would you wear it? <sighs> Look, it, it doesn't have to go on your finger. It can just... Go on your necklace. Like that. It looks perfect. Are you sure? It keeps us close. You and me. And Rachel. On, then. What do you think you're doing locking our Monday away? My job? I have a good mind to report you. You better watch out, woman. Ooh, is that a threat, Mr. Dingle? Zack. You have got it in for her. I don't think you're going to get away with it. What are you doing? Describing your threatening behaviour. I haven't judged you. Both your language and manner are threatening, Mr. Dingle. It's an arrestable offence. Please. Go on. This family has just suffered a bereavement. And instead of sympathy, we're being made to suffer at the hands of a... a paracrase pig! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Sergeant. We're both a bit upset. It's been a terrible shot. Mm -hmm. Police harassment, that's what this is! Look, I know it was you that stole our stuff, so don't ever think I'm stupid or that you can get one over on me. Well, prove it, then. Search the house! Oh, like it's still going to be on the premises? I'm going to be watching you constantly. Yeah. Oh, come on. Fascist pig! Oh, my gosh. How many more deliveries to go? Just a couple. What's the matter? You're bored already. I've um, booked us into the Trevelyan Hotel for tonight. I thought it'd be nice in the place you usually stay at. Oh, I'm sure it will be. Probably about ten times more expensive. Oh, that's OK. I'm paying. Oh, I see. How many rooms have you booked? Two, of course. Just making sure. What do you take me for? I thought at least we could have dinner. So, what about your family? Do you have any brothers or sisters? We're at work, not in pub. Yes, I know, but... Zoe, you came out here today because you said you wanted to see how things operate. That's what I'm going to show you. We're not here to get to know each other. Doesn't all this techno or whatever give you a headache? It's not techno, it's house. And it's great to drive to. You're amazed how soothing classical can be. A lot less stressful than this noise. Zoe, I'll listen to what I want to listen to. Got it? And it ain't noise. If you lightened up a bit, you might actually like it. There's now you can do about it, Zach. Fire boats! Hey. Hiya, Dad. <laughs> oh, hello, Hiya. Hello, darling. Hey, it's so sure good to see you. We've been hearing all about your heroic acts. Well, it was now, really. It don't sound like now to me. True act of bravery. I'm dead proud of you, son. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Hey, Ian, welcome back. <sighs> have you heard about our manly? Yeah, we have. And that Sergeant Reynolds isn't going to get away with it. Look, I told you Step to leave it, Zach. Yeah, I will, for now. 
Hey, how about me and Lisa taking you down the wallet for a few pints? You deserve it. I'd love to, Dad, but, uh, well, I've got to go and pick Emily up and take her home, you know. You and Emily. Hey, no woman could resist a man who saved her life. No, no, it's, it's nothing like that. I will be taking her home, but I'll, I'll be sleeping outside in the pickup. Lisa's pickup? Yeah. Anyway, I'd best be off. See you later. <laughs> Welcome home. <laughs> Outside in the pickup. What? Maybe it's an arrangement they've come to. <laughs> the world's gone mad. Andy Dingle. The one and only. You'll have the Dingles down on you like a ton of bricks. Do I look scared? It must be great to have that sort of power. Yeah. Can be. Especially if you've got neighbours like them to contend with. Anyway. How are you? Oh, I'm all right, I suppose. Meaning? I've only been back a day, and Jack and I have just got so much to sort out. Things aren't easy at the best of times, but we get by. It's just hard, earning a living from working a farm. I know. I've seen some farmers do some terrible things to themselves. I mean, he didn't even ask me if I minded us having a lodger. Yeah, but it were away. Oh, yeah, I know, and, and we do need the money, but... But it's my home, too. I, he, he just makes decisions and uh, doesn't even ask me. Is Pete all right? Mm, yeah, he'll definitely brighten the place up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> we work all the hours God sends, and it's just making us tired. Look, if you ever need to talk, I'm always here. Well, not in the pub, obviously. I mean, to listen. Thanks, Angie. You might regret saying that, though. Got to have mates, haven't you? <laughs> Zoe and Frankie should just about be checking into the hotel room, but now. It is a business trip. Frankie's already spoken for, and Zoe wouldn't dream of making a fool of herself. Are we talking about the same Zoe? Will you cut it out? <laughs> Thank you. She shouldn't be too much longer. Close with me. You look fine. I ordered you a beer. Jeez. I just really think I was going to be stood up. I've got to eat, haven't I? Oh, Betty. Well, did Graham find Cafe a photographer? Yes. More's the pity, and I was getting right excited. Oh, well, I dare say you are. And no offence. But I think Cathy and Biff might not want their wedding photos developed in some high street chemist. Stickers all over the prints saying things are out of focus. No, it's ever come back blurred that I've zoomed in on. No? No! I've got a steady hand, me, and an eye for a well-framed snap. Well, in the light of Cathy's experience, I reckon I want to get on that phone and start booking for me and Mark Gavin's big day. Yeah, well, after the comments you've made, don't come running to me when David Bailey pulls out at the 11th hour. Betty, I was only joking. Anyway, I'd hardly want you the other side of the camera, would I? Come my wedding day, you'll be stood two away from me in the photos. Well, huh? Of course. Next to me, Mum. It's all been planned. Oh. I mean, it stinks, if you ask me. All you've got to do is take a look at Air Haulage. The workers, they get a 15% pay cut, and the rich ones, what make the decisions? Well, it doesn't affect them, because they've got 20 quid notes pouring out their ears. So what are you saying? The rich feed off the poor and life's unfair? What I'm saying is some people think hardship is a four-star hotel, or there aren't any ripe avocados left in the supermarket. Didn't exactly stop you ordering all this lot. Well, at least I appreciate it. And this is a first for me. Really? Yeah, really. We don't all have access to a bottomless bank account. Maybe not, but come on, Frank, you don't have it that hard. Harder than you. Little Miss bore me a silver spoon in your gob. I'm rich because I inherited money from my father when he died. He worked hard all his life for his money, so I've got nothing to feel guilty about, all right? All right. Keep your knickers on. 
You're quite feisty, really, aren't you? How do you mean? Well, you come across as all sweet and innocent, like you'd die a death from a fight, but you can be pretty fierce. Once you drop the facade. If you say so. Getting back. I'm sorry, I uh, was out with a friend after work. Kathy, what's happened? Laura, I need to talk to someone. You see, I can't talk to Biff. Well, uh, I think you're coming. 101, this is me. Right. Well, thank you for a really fun evening. Night. I thought you'd want to come in for a nightcap. Why? Well, you know. Frankie, I know now you don't fancy me. I think I spent long enough making a fool of myself before I realised that, don't you? I told you this is a business trip. That's exactly what it is. I certainly don't need to waste my time chasing after someone who isn't even interested. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I assumed the worst. Well, well not the worst, I mean, <laughs> you know. Get to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Kathy, you do love Biff, don't you? Well, of course I do. Very much. So what is it? Have you met someone else? No. No, not really. It's, um, it's Graham. I see. Oh, it's not what you think. There's, there's nothing going on. We've just become very close and, of course, we have. Rachel meant so much to us both. It, it's just that... I think I'm starting to feel things I shouldn't be feeling. He gave me this earlier. Graham did? It was Rachel's. He wants me to have it. But to keep us close. Bound together. Uh, that's lovely, but... Cathy, I really don't think that means he feels things for you in a romantic way. I know, but... Laura, when he took the ring out to give it to me... I wonder what was going on. You know, for a minute, I thought he was going to propose. <laughs> he knows you're engaged to Biff. 